Okay, here's one more challenge problem for counting atoms uh, that I know is going to show up on your practice sheets. I know it's not in your gray packet at all, but I would probably write this problem off to the side, maybe in the margins where you have some space, because um, there's a little bit of a trick in here, like I said, that's going to show up on your practice handouts today. So I want to make sure I kind of cover that so you're not confused when you see this show up. So. We learned subscripts and coefficients. Here's a big coefficient, number two out front. We learned that it is going to rainbow to every single element that comes after it. So the two is going to affect the carbon, the hydrogen, and also the oxygen. Okay, so we want to do that first. Then we have our subscripts. Our subscripts are the little submarines that are going to attach to the element right next to it. So the six is going to affect the carbon. Here within the parentheses, we have a hydrogen, three hydrogens. So we have a subscript three attached to the hydrogen. And now this is where it gets a little tricky. Now we have a two coefficient. That coefficient is attached to anything within the brackets. So this two is attached to everything within these parentheses. So the two actually goes to the oxygen and the two also is affecting the hydrogen. The two will not affect the carbon. The two is only attached to what's within these parentheses. Okay, so lots of arrows going on. So if we look at just the carbon, the carbon has the two coefficient and the six subscripts. So we're gonna take two times six. That will give us 12 carbon. We move over to the hydrogen. We have a two coefficient going to the hydrogen. So two times the three subscript, two times three is six. And then we also have another subscript that goes to the hydrogen. So we took two times three, which is six, times the other two, which will also give us 12. So again, the hydrogen had a two times a three, times a two, which gives us 12. And the last oxygen has a two coefficient and a two coefficient, sorry, a two subscript. So two times two gives us four oxygen atoms. Now this is really an honors problem. So if this is completely tricky, um, don't be too worried about it, but I wanted to give you that extra challenge because I'm sure you can do it. So give that one a try. You'll see that on your practice sheet.